Hey everybody, I'm Psychroclasm, and it's raining super hard today, so A, I'm kind of worried that the power is going to go out in the middle of recording this, and B, um, I have the puppies in here with me because of how loud it is, so if you hear any weird noises, it's probably them. But this is Locke Apollo, and I know nothing about it so far. Oh, hang on. Okay, mouse does not work. Enter. Yes. Your job is to harvest the good and bad karma from the deceased souls and move the he and, and fuel the heaven's fountains. Move with A, D, Q, D, or left and right arrows as you want. Jump with Z or up arrow long jump by holding the key. Bounce on the soul's head and gather karma. Held karma is indicated in colored counter in the screen's corners. While jumping, don't miss the souls or you may fall to a certain doom. You'll also need to bounce on one if you want to reach the other side. Touch a fountain to dispose of the corresponding type of karma and score an equivalent amount of points. Harvested good karma will deplete the same amount of any bad karma you might hold and vice versa. Try to collect only one karma of a... Try to collect only one karma type at the same time. Oh, so they cancel out. Okay. You'll score a little bonus if you combo jump more than three souls without your feet touching the ground. Awesome. As your score goes up, the game will become harder and harder. Good luck, and you'll get it. Great! I trust you. All right, let's see what the high scores are so far. There are no high score. Oh, there they go. Okay, unranked ones aren't part of the jam. So it looks like 254 is what I need to be. Hang on. Yeah, 245 is what I need to be. That sounds... Okay, here we go. Okay, so Z is jump? Okay, so I want to... Oh. Oh, I fall a lot faster than I expected. Oh, shit! Oh, yeah, that's fine. What if they don't have a thing? Are they neutral? Oh, they keep going. Okay, I see. Oh, no. Yeah, I can do this. Yeah, I can't do this. <laughs> that was fast. <laughs> you fell and re-died. Try again, and maybe you'll do better in your next reincarnation. Okay, I don't, I don't need, I, I don't need to save that score. Bleh. Okay, maybe I do. Hang on. Boo. Alright, let's try this again. Yeah, it definitely seems like this part is harder. Uh, okay. Uh, I got orange, orange, orange. As long as they keep feeding me stuff, I don't see... Oh my god. Why did you make it harder? Also, why am I stealing their karma? If they can go to rebirth, why am I doing this to them? Okay, I got blue, blue, blue. Ah, oh, fuck. I thought I could do 254. Or 245. Okay, so the ones that have no headbands have no karma. God damn. The thunder is still going. Still going. Still going. Still one continuous thunder. Still going. 
This is ridiculous. So theoretically, I could just play it safe and just go for like one at a time. Like that, I could just drop off for things like that and just do like bad karma. Like it'd be a dick move, but it'd be a valid strategy. Or maybe making it harder forces them to feed me the opposite karma to lure me across the way. So this could be like a long drawn out process. But they are still feeding me bad karma. So I think I might be able to make this work. I mean, it's boring, but it's a good strategy. Because of the little things on their head, I've started to imagine that they're all doctors and the orange ones are bad doctors and the blue ones are good doctors. Oh, you all the way at the bottom, huh? I can barely make that height. Oh, that's crazy. Is this really all you're gonna give me from now on? I'm gonna die. Yep, there's my die. <laughs> Something else I've noticed, it only seems to go harder when I actually bank the points. So I wonder if I could just save up points without touching the fountains and that would do me more favors. Ah, I was wondering why I would want some without karma and they're just stepping stones. I understand now. Why do I always talk? This seems to be the way to go. I'm just banking a shit ton of karma. What? No! So touching the fountain, whether our whether or not I deposit karma, still has the effect of making the game harder. Damn. Oh, it gets harder as time goes on. Does it? No, that doesn't make sense. I'm very confused as to what makes the game harder. Every time I talk. But I really have decided to just bank points. It makes it a lot easier and a lot safer to collect them. I think the other thing I'm a little bit wary of is the online leaderboard because the competition only requires you to submit a video. It doesn't require your score to actually be on the leaderboard. So I'm wondering how likely it would be for somebody to keep their score off the scoreboard just to make it more likely that a high, that their high score wouldn't be beaten because nobody's gonna be shooting for it. Or maybe I'm the only person who thinks that way. And just because I don't have to beat the unranked high score doesn't mean I don't want to. But really, I'm only concerned about beating the one that's on the leaderboard right now. If I can do that much better than it, so be it. But I just don't see it happening. Because I do, I spent almost all of last night working on um, A Long Way Down, and the jam is only 40, or er, the streaming part of the jam is only 48 hours. So, realistically, I can't spend that much time on it. Like, I need to get over to, um, shit, what is it called? I know it's by Tiny Dino Studios, they're the ones who made Time Ambassador, and I'm kind of excited to see what they came up with. But I've got to get over to their entry before too long, because I also have to edit. The difficulty hasn't gone up in a very long time, so I think I may have hit like some kind of cap on the timer. but I'm still racking up them points. All right, this is officially enough to land me first place on the current leaderboard. 
but I'm going to see, I'm gonna grab a few more just in case of karma loss as I cross. And I know it would make sense to keep going and rack up more, but I'm afraid if I make a mistake, I'll lose my shot at the first position right now. So I'm going to bank these and then I'll try for a higher score later because I think I'm going to go ahead and jump over to the other game I haven't played yet. Let's say 260-ish is where I want to cross. That'll give, that should give me five good karma ghosts that I can hit on the way. Yeah, I deserve that. <laughs> okay, the long jump is super useful. Ah, oh, shit, I didn't mean to grab one of those. See, I forgot about it. When they were on the bottom of the screen, the long jump would have made it a lot easier to actually get up to my platform, so that's going to be useful going forward. Haha, <laughs> 69. Chicken Alfredo Pizza is a bomb, dude. Here we go. Let's see what the game looks like when a normal person plays it. That's not what it looks like when a normal person plays it. I'm really hoping there's not like a limit on how many it can bank and ram, because obviously it counts that high. Oh my god, look at all the orange ones that I have now. <laughs> this should be enough to secure me a first place in the unranked. And that's, this is going to be my first official score. And that doesn't mean that I'm giving up right now. I have every, oh my god. Hello, fishies. But I have every intention of actually playing and getting up to the top of the leaderboard. It sucks to cheese it this way, but I am looking to win. It's still counting. Uh-oh. The exclamation mark means they change directions. That's pretty cool. I've got a couple of other things I wanted to try too after I got a decent score. 
Like, I wanted to see how long I could keep myself in the air, regardless of what it does to my score. I mean, obviously it'll average out or it'll favor one side a little bit more than the other, but it's crazy how far apart they've gotten at this point. It looks like I'd end up just waiting for more ghosts at a certain point anyway. All right, <laughs> we finally ran out. Okay. Honestly, I thought they'd be going a lot faster. Not that it's... Not that this isn't going to be hard. I wonder if the speedy ones are worth the same amount of points. They are worth so many more points. I can see why you might want to get on those. I'm just going to keep it going at this point um, until I die, which I assume will be soon. Um, I don't expect to even hit 300, actually. Boop! Boop! <laughs> but I'm glad that they're all at random heights now, because when they were all at the bottom, that was a fucking nightmare. <laughs> I almost lost it right there. I think the downside is, like, what if I hit one of the speedy ones that's the opposite of the color I'm trying to farm? Like, will it take away five points? That'd be really bad. So, I mean, I feel like the game would just be slow at this point anyway, so maybe, maybe the way I did it was... Preferable. Hey, I hit 300. Yay. That actually should put me at the very bottom of the unranked. I wonder if I get more points for hitting one that's got... I wonder if I get more points for hitting one that's got an exclamation mark over their head. Uh, ba -ba -ba -ba. And there I am. I am in third place. Overall. Yeah, I'm recording. Thank God. So, I'm 136 away. I think I could easily do that. But we will see. I'm I'm about 24 hours away from the submission deadline. So, I'm going to move on to I'm going to play around with this for a little bit longer, but then I'm going to move on to the last game so I can actually submit a score for that as well. All right, so let's see exactly how long I can stay in the air because I've been experimenting with how long or how like how the spacing affects how long I can stay in the air. See, I'm talking and I lose focus. But see, these guys are relatively close together, so I shouldn't need the long jump. So let's see what I actually end up with in terms of score. Ah, oh, man. That wasn't that long at all. So this is with a long jump. So the long jump on level one, they are slightly faster than I am. So once they get all the way under me, I need to let go and just do small jumps. So these are spaced a little bit further apart, so let's see what these get me. Oh, see, even with the long jump, I actually have to track these guys. See how long it takes the flying guys to show up. I wonder how hard it's going to be with the random heights and having them both go in opposite directions. The answer is very hard, actually. Oh, 
I was kind of wondering when the combo would stop, honestly. Or maybe upgrade. But it looks like three is kind of the limit. As much as I hate to say it, as much as they slow down, it looks like cheesing it might be the quickest way to score points, unfortunately. I really thought this would turn into something... a little bit more competitive, but it really does just slow it down. But I think my current conclusion is... good idea, but super easy to cheese. And I can't tell if I should feel bad about that. Because this is... Well, it's a score competition, not a skill competition. But I, I can't help but wonder if I'm playing against other players or if I'm supposed to be playing against the game for the highest score. So I'll see what I can do for like a legit high score at some point, but it'll have to be after I check out the other game, because I am limited on time. It's already 9.30 on Saturday, which means I am just ever so slightly behind. Because I've also, like I said, I've got editing to do. I did already edit a long way down, though, so that's at least something off my plate. On oh, something else I noticed about the counter during my numerous failures, the point counter only counts what's on that big number in the middle of the screen, so if you happen to die before your banked points go in, you're stuck where you were. So it, it does make a lot of sense to wait for your banked points to go in as well. But it's funny to just build up a combo and see what kind of points I'm left with. Like, not even trying to specifically get a specific type of karma, just like bouncing for the hell of it and seeing where I end up. Like, I haven't been paying attention to my totals. I'll just get to whatever platform is closest whenever I don't think I can land the next jump. Actually, I'm going to back out of this. I'm going to change my name. I'm going to submit under a different name. So, I'm going to... Jits. Alright, so let's see what I can do just playing like a normal, average human being. So even in the 80s, they start getting really slow and spread out. I still haven't quite figured out what causes the difficulty up. But I am, like, maxing out around 100, even on, like, a legitimate playthrough. So if you can beat that, you can feel good about yourself. Or at least you can feel better than I do about my 300. See how far these guys go. Oh yeah, I've really got to track these guys. These guys are super far apart. This is actually one of those few situations where I don't think I could make it to the other side of the level just with a long jump. Yeah, I'd had you have to position that. Well, we're at 102, not playing like an asshole. Hey, there. Wait, I bounced off of it, but I didn't get credit. I, I am peeved. <laughs> but yeah, we got to 100 playing like a normal human being. So that's something. <laughs> but yeah, uh, so. Nate Bag and Cytoskeleton are above me, assuming they played like actual human beings. 
good for them. I think they deserve the win. So I'm going to go ahead and move on to the next game. That's it for Lakapala for the moment. I've still got about 24 hours, so I may be adding on to this video just because I've got extra time to refine some of my scores. But the base video, this is it. Till the next video, stay safe, take care of yourselves, and I'll see you around. Bye.